This is the Marvel Legends series six inch scaled Marvel's Phoenix. The, Phoenix, the figure is part of the new 2016 X-Men Marvel Legends figures and by Hasbro. And here's the rest of the assortment and the figure you build. Uh, with parts coming from each figure is the juggernaut i picked up this figure at kramer toy warden and jean gray this particular jean gray is looking to be the weakest one in the wave uh simply because it is very very cumbersome to pose to handle and just to stand all together i thought it would be Iceman, but uh ice man's a close second this one is looking to be the worst or the weakest it's not it's not bad it's not a bad figure but it's it, it's probably the weakest compared to the others and my main contention really is the the weak legs again that uh, always accompanies these female figures by Hasbro and I, I don't understand why they have to make the they have to use too soft of a, of a plastic of a PVC material for the knees and for the for the feet as you can see she borrows a lot of the mold from several different molds she's got a new head sculpt definitely this is from a captain marvel uh sash i think nope nope it's a new sash here is cap speaking of carol danvers here is Carol danvers this is a new sash obviously uh she's got new feet with the uh smaller feet but it has the uh built-in wedge heel uh, that's nice. The hands look like they're from Spider-Woman, but they're not. I think they are from the Scarlet Witch. Here is the mold that she takes a lot from. Um, I think the lower torso is from here, but the breast area, I think they took it from a Spider-Girl figure. The legs look to be from here, um, but the, the more slender lower legs are from another... I, it's very difficult to say uh it the shoulders look like from from this mold as well and the as well as the arms she's got new hands i think a scarlet witch hands new feet so it's a mis mix mismatch or mix of several different uh body molds that that hasbro has released for the female figures and it, it's I think it works nicely. I think this kind of body is the one they should have used for magic. If if I'm not mistaken, if you watched my review of magic, magic was I thought was a little bit too young of a body mold that they use. I think it should have been this one. This is more of like a teenager type of a body. Uh in her going her late teens, early twenties. That that should have been what magic's body should have been. But it's a classic Jean Grey Phoenix look. And I don't have the Toy Biz uh, Cyclops figures. This is as classic as I have of a Cyclops figure. This is the uh, from the um, the Hasbro version, the Hasbro Cyclops from the uh, Brood Queen, I think. And they don't really scale that well. Cyclops should be just a teensy, teensy taller like that, but. Yeah, and speaking of Toy Biz, here is the um, Toy Biz Phoenix figure that I have. And clearly, as you can see, it's a more svelte figure. It's There's a better silhouette. There's a better female form to it than this one. This one's not bad, but it kind of looks very robotic. I love the head sculpt. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if there is a Dark Phoenix figure repaint version uh, in the works by Hasbro uh, for this figure let's talk about the figure great sculpt everywhere except for the knees that are just bendy I love the whole sculpt I love the head sculpt it kind of looks like a you know spaced out kind of Jean Grey uh, but the hair sculpt man the only one I it's very good I, I love it uh, not as great, not as good as the hair sculpt by Christina Cruz, but look, it, it it's good enough uh, for a Hasbro figure, and uh, very very nice sculpt. And I like the fact that it's been molded, detached, not too close to the neck or the back, and that way you can articulate the neck or the head in in a lot of possible ways without the hair hindering it, which is nice. That's nice engineering uh, from the Hasbro team. Paint apps. 
Uh, another bone to pick here. Um, the gold is okay uh, with the green, but it's the, the crest that you should be wary about. As you can see, my on this figure that I have, the gold uh, Phoenix is a little bit off-centered. I've seen several that are dead center, but they've had smudges, like dots, fingerprints on, on, on the actual uh, Phoenix emblem, which kind of sucks. There are some figures that bleed uh, the gold into the green, just very minor. So, uh, paint apps. Uh, so the head sculpt, on the other hand, is great paint apps. The lipstick, most of the figures I've seen have dead-on centered on the lips. The eyes are painted okay. So it's really the gold you should be worried about if you're picking through several on the pegs. All right, articulation for the figures. Got a ball joint on an, on a hinge uh, for the neck. Uh, ball jointed upper torso, ball hinge shoulders, elbows and wrists, ball jointed hips, ball uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints. So a little bit disappointing that the figure uh, isn't as sturdy as I'd say Captain Marvel or Ashley Barton. Uh, it's a little bit on the weak side, much like uh, Thundra or um, uh, Valkyrie, but those are really heavy figures. That's why they buckled down. But this one is a light figure. And it, it seems to me that sooner or later it, it will tend to topple down because of the top heavy head sculpt and and a very very um, if you notice very very slender base for feet and you'll have to use a stand for this one on the shelf or just lean it on the wall if, if you want to if you don't want this one toppling over your other figures so yeah the figure is going to get as far as jean gray even if with my bias on it i'm gonna have to give the figure an eight out of ten sorry hasbro but but great effort uh, i love the fact we get a new jean gray thank you there you go folks the marvel legends series marvel's phoenix from the new x-men marvel legends figure figures thanks for watching